I really like events like The Future of Work and the reason being that you just get some amazing speakers who you can actually learn a lot from but also the other people who you get to chat to afterwards. So all of the attendees, you know, they're not just people joining for an event, they're experts in their own right. London has a strong history of being creative and innovative. It has the ideas, it has the business skills, it has the marketing skills. What we're lacking is enough tech people to make it happen. I think it's proving a challenge to get good, good people on board in, in, in quick terms, um, especially when you're potentially hiring for more senior positions. Uh, you know Juno's entire product and design and dev team are all freelancers and, uh, and it's, it's a little bit of practicing what we preach but also knowing that this is the best way to deliver what is a truly uh, apt response for what we're trying to do. So you see a lot of companies nowadays that are based in or headquartered in London, but have actually tech hubs uh, you know, in, in other parts of Europe and, and actually wider across the globe as well. So I, I think that's helping us ease that shortage. I also think because of the startup scene um, is so vibrant now in London, we're actually able to attract talent from places like San Francisco and the Valley and, uh, and New York and across the States as well as other uh, areas of the world. So that really allows us to help start to bridge that gap. If I look at the future of work, I see that I see that the, the whole concept of contractors sort of phasing away a little bit and, and, and us moving towards hiring project-based experts um, and consultants to come in and execute on specific R&D innovation projects. It's not going to be a one-size-fits-all approach. Mm -hmm. Whatever the company is, is going to be nuancing how they work and how they connect with their staff um, to actually fit their business better and deliver their products better as well. The days of building large teams um, all in-house is, is going to go away. Uh, there'll be freelancers, there'll be partners, uh, there'll be people onshore, there'll be people offshore. Uh, I, I think people don't want big permanent teams. It's a, it's a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. We believe that the future of work is freelance. We believe that the best way to respond to project-based work and very, very specific briefs is through very specialised skills that are readily available in the freelance market. I personally believe that in the next century we'll see a shift towards working being about enjoyment and meaningfulness. Whether that is full-time, part-time, flex working, permanent working, I think there'll be a lot more options on the table.